Hey guys, I'm Clint Flair Wu. Welcome back to another Division 2 build video for you. And this is a Seeker Mine special. This is all about skill power. This is all about raw damage and super cool cooldowns. And it can be improved, this build, quite easily if you have slightly better mods in your inventory. Now, take a, take a look at this. Again, comments, feedback, drop them in the comments box. I'm always keen to read and reply. And again, this is an awesome template for PvE if you love Seeker Mines and skill builds. Take a look at this. Okay, guys, first and foremost, I'm rolling with the Demolitionist uh, spe specialization. I've opted for that because of the explosive damage. For me, it's a no-brainer because you're going to get that raw 25% explosion damage on the build. So make sure you're rolling with Demolitionist because it works hand-in-hand -hand with Seeker Mines. Now, if we take a look at the stats, uh, my offensive stats are 4, my defensive stats are 3, and I have 11 utility stats. My armor is 170,000, my health is 55,000, my skill power is 2,734. Um... The stats are quite optimal, in all honesty. However, you guys, again, might have a little bit more give or take. Um, my mods are decent. They're quite good, in fact. However, as always, you guys have a little bit better than me because you are the farmers out there. So take a look at this. We'll start with the mask. Okay, it's a Providence Defense brand set mask that gives me skill, power, and health. And the attributes hazard protection, and I've opted for hazard protection simply because in PvE you are continuously spammed with nades, uh, fire, and anything that's going to uh, hold you back. So this, these kind of status effects, uh, it gives me that 30% protection, and I'd rather that than health in all honesty. Uh, so that's a good handy attribute to have on the build. Skill power is 339, and the talent destructive. Key, key talent. Make sure you have destructive Pretty much everywhere where you can, that will give you plus 20% explosive damage on the build. Key talent, guys. Make sure you have that nearly everywhere. Okay. The chest piece is, again, the second piece of the province defense brand set. Skill, power, and health. The attributes on this build, skill, power, health, headshot damage, and the talents destructive again as i've said this is key optimal make sure you have destructive everywhere possible the mods defensive mod with health extra income and healing and health regen and the utility mod is skill power drone skill power and firefly skill power onto the holster the holster is the wyvern wear uh, brand set and that gives me seven percent critical hit damage don't worry about that it's not great however this is the best attributes i have with nice skill power and really good cooldown of 23 uh, percent which helps me and the build immensely and in terms of the mod it's skill power headshot kill xp and a nice little explosion damage of two and a half percent every percent counts the knee pads it is the china light industries corporation which again is key to have one of these on the build Simply because of the 10% explosive damage, it is integral that you have that 10%. Because again, as I've said, every percent counts into doing optimal damage. Uh, the attribute is 11% cooldown reduction. The talent is destructive yet again. And the mod is weapon damage, optimal range, and headshot damage. And the gloves. The gloves are the uh, brand set Alps Summon Armament. That gives me 10% cooldown reduction. 5% skill power, the attribute is skill power, the talent on this is destructive. You have two options with the talent on this build. First one, destructive, you're going to get that 20% explosive damage, or you go down the route of terminate, which gives you the extra 35% skill damage when you deplete enemy's armor. So you've got one or the other. I've opted for destructive because I use terminate quite a lot on most of my builds, so I've gone for destructive for the raw damage from the off. And the mod is, again, it's an offensive protocol mod that gives me weapon damage and optimal range. And finally, the backpack is the second piece of the Elp Summit Armament, cooldown reduction skill power as the key factors on the Elp Summit Armament brand set. I'm going to get 450 skill power, 17% cooldown reduction, the talents. These are the talents you need on the build for extra damage, tech support, 
Kills by active skills grant plus 25% skill damage for 10 seconds. And destructive plus 20%, you guessed it, explosive damage. Uh, the mods is skill power with chem launch skill power and seeker skill power. The offensive system mod slot is weapon damage, pistol damage, and LMG damage. Okay, and that's the gear. Let's take a look at the weapons and how they synergize with the build. My primary weapon, and again, I do switch between these two weapons, but my primary weapon is the Black Market T821. I do like SMGs. I've always been an SMG uh, user in the division. For example, the house is just your go-to weapon. Um, I like this particular SMG. I think it's really strong. It has the talents. Perpetuation. Kills grant plus 5% skill duration, ammo, and charges to the next skill used. Max stack is 10. I use it primarily for my secondary skill, which is the drone. That gives me that extra bit of skill, du skill duration, which is nice. Stable, plus 15% stability. So it's nice to have that stability to go for the headshots where needed. Rooted, well equipped and in cover, all skill damage and healing is increased by 25% for 10 seconds. Buff is lost when exiting cover. Can occur once per 25 seconds. OP talent to have on the build. Make sure you have rooted on one of your weapons because you will see the benefit and it will pay dividends. The mods... Accuracy, rounds, critic chance, and more critic chance. My secondary weapon, and I switch, as I said, between my SMG and my infantry MG5. It has the talent Spike. Headshot kills grant plus 35% skill damage for 20 seconds. This is a no-brainer on the build. Spike is a sensational talent to use in PvE because, again, you would do as much damage as possible with your primary weapon, switch to this, aim for the head, uh, and ensure your mods a stability to make sure, or accuracy to make sure you are hitting headshots. Again, if you're a console user with your PC, mouse and keyboard, you're fine. Um, but Spike is a key talent to, to garner that extra bit of damage in PvE. Allegro for the rate of fire. Uh, recharge, well equipped, skills deployed at full armor have plus 25% duration, charges and ammo. Again, this works hand in hand with my drone to make sure my drone lasts longer. Mods, and as I've said, stability, reload speed, stability and stability. Finally, my sidearm is my 93R with the talents, perpetuation yet again. Accurate and in rhythm. While equipped, enemy kills have a 5% chance to refresh active skill cooldowns. Can occur once every 60 seconds. Not a great talent in all fairness, but again, there's a chance. Um, and sometimes it does work, so it's nice to have on the build. The mods, optimal range and critical hit chance. That's the gear. Uh, those are the weapons. You can see how they synergize perfectly with the build. Let's take a look firstly at my drone. Uh, I'm using the Fixer drone that has a cooldown of 37 and a half seconds. And we all know you dismantle this, this uh, skill and it will half that time. So it's about 18, 19 seconds on the cooldown. Very nice. Just make sure with about 10 seconds left, you dismantle it to make sure the cooldown is halved. Duration of 180 seconds. Again, that will be uh, enhanced with the talent perpetuation um a healing of 18442 which is nice um cooldown reduction as uh the first battery slot uh mod as you can see the call uh, the requirement is 1363 i can and i'm sure you guys have got a better mod but that is the best mod i have ever found in my two months playing the division two so 18.1% and I'm pretty confident you can get 25% plus to make that cooldown even better on your drone. It's pretty awesome. Full slot is armor repair 19.7%, which is really good. And on the feed slot is 26.2%, which is again really nice. So all in all, that gives me a total of an extra 46% armor repair. So it's going to be uh, hitting exceptionally hard for armor it's going to be constantly dropping back so if you do lose your armor if you're one shot by a hound and your armor's gone it'll be back in seconds 
it's that strong. So Drone is an OP healing talent, in my opinion. By all means, if you want to use a cam launcher, go for it. I hate it, in all honesty. I love the Drone on a skill build. Works really, really well. And then the build, and what the build is all about, is the Seeker Mine. The Cluster Seeker Mine is the Seeker of choice. Um, you can use the Explosive Seeker, um, which only gives you one, and I can get this 500k damage plus. As you can see, let's just take the Butchers. Uh, so the Cluster is 275,722. The Airburst is 155,000. And 514,000 for the Explosive Seeker Mine with a 10 second cooldown, insane. However, you will get more value and do more damage with the Cluster Seeker Mine. And how I've got this set out, it, firstly, it's got a cooldown of 11.3 seconds. Um, you can improve this, as you can see. The skill power mod uh, the, in the drive slot is 26.4% cooldown reduction at 1987. Uh, you can get them around about 35%. If you get around two and a half thousand skill power, maybe a little bit more as well. So this can be improved furthermore. Now the target slot is 28.8% damage. You need a minimum of 2885. So that's a really high requiring a requirement uh, on skill power. And the second one is 24.6% damage. As you can see, there's still a few percent damage you can get on this build and improve the cooldown as well. So there's a little bit of work to do. Only a little bit, a smidgen, but still. It is really, really good. So that's it. 11.3 second cooldown, 275,000 damage, and you will get more damage when you hit multiple players, multiple enemies, sorry. Um, it is superb. Okay, so that's the skills. I've gone for the gear, the weapons. Let's look at the stats. As you see, destructive is everywhere and tech support. Use terminate if you want. You get a little bit more damage at, in times, on occasions, um, but sometimes you won't. Again, it is what it is. Personally, I've gone destructive. There, there's the weapon talents and now they synergize perfectly. Weapon damage, uh, critic chance, critic damage, headshot damage, offense. Um, again, it's not really about dealing much damage on the build. It's all about the skills. The skills, that's where it's at. My skill power is 2734. I get, I've got mods that enhance my drone skill power, chem launcher, firefly, and more importantly, seeker that gets me 2970. You want to aim around about 3000 to get the optimal mods on your build. Now, cooldown reduction is 61%. Uh, the cap is, is about 60%. Anything beyond that, you will get diminished returns. So the percentage return is a lot less when it's below 60. So all in all, if you're looking at putting a build together, a skill cooldown reduction, then look about 60%. That's where you want to be. If you invest more in that, you're just losing out, in my opinion. Um, but guys, do check this out. Um, and that is about it for the build. That's my Seeker Mind build for the Division 2. Um, I'm loving it. I'm having so much fun rolling with this build. It is fantastic in PvE. Um, challenging missions, whether it be solo or in a group. Um, again, if, if you like me, if you like uh, the skill build aspects of the game, if you enjoy sitting in cover, dropping Seeker Minds, this is a sensational build. It really, really is. Uh, I've had so much fun rolling with this build. And again, it Gives you another dimension of gameplay rather than the run and gun or the, the LMG, unbreakable meta. Um, give this a whirl. This is a PvE special and you won't look back when testing this build. Um, as I said at the start of the video, perhaps you guys have got a slightly better variation. But this, in its current shape and form, is OP. It's fantastic. Okay, guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, as always, drop that like. It helps me and the channel immensely. If you want to see more Division 2 content, you know what you need to do. Press the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.